Switching to the college football front real quickly, no program has felt the effect of COVID-19 more locally than the Charlotte 49ers who were scheduled to play Western Kentucky, your alma mater, That's right. tomorrow Hilltoppers. morning at 1030. But the 49ers athletic program announced today that that game is now canceled due to COVID-19. Uh, due to COVID-19 testing within the 49ers program. This is the seventh game that has been moved or canceled. And now it has been one month since the team last took the field. And to talk a little more about this, we're bringing in our Panthers analyst from Black and Blue Kickoff Live to talk about this, Mr. Al Wallace, who, if you didn't know, is also the color analyst for the 49ers. So, Al, just what are your thoughts on this happening again to the 49ers? I mean, this is, I mean, this has got to be hard for you, too, trying to prepare for these games that just never end up happening. I think when you start to go through the week and you start to prepare for these games uh, as a color analyst, you're holding your breath. I know I'm waiting for test results. I'm waiting for uh, calls from the administration to see if this game is going to go off. And it's been, what, seven cancellations now? So it's extremely difficult to um, have to go through that process. But even more so, my heart goes out to those student athletes that are disappointed each and every week that they don't get another opportunity to go out and play the game they love. And we know this is tough for the players, but how do you handle this as a head coach and trying to run your program and, and just trying to move forward with things? As a head coach, you just have to keep a positive attitude in the locker room. You have to keep your kids working. They have to be prepared because they never know when they're going to play. So I understand, uh, I think I understand what Will Healy is going through, keeping those kids apart from each other, the isolation, maybe the mental health that they're going through, just not being able to be around each other and how much of com the camaraderie they've lost in their, their football season. But it's just, it's heartbreaking every time you think about the opportunities that are missed and those guys don't get to go out there and play. I'm a broadcaster, so sitting up in the booth feels good on Saturday afternoons, but for the players that prepare and put all the work in to play big-time college football, it's lost. I mean, it's completely lost, and now they're down to maybe one or two more opportunities. Yeah, not many more opportunities at all. They're supposed to play FIU this Saturday, but how hopeful are we that that's actually going to happen? I think I feel the same way the kids do. I just want one more opportunity to see them on the field to play. Uh, FIU's gone through their own challenges as far as uh, being able to play football games. I don't think they've played many more than Charlotte has at five, and uh, you're, you're hoping that everyone can stay uh, in a negative kind of threshold that you can travel, those guys can get up here and play this football game. For all of us, I think, associated with the program, you just want one more opportunity to see these guys on the field at Jerry Richardson Stadium and do what they do on Saturdays because this game is brutal and it's just fleeting. And if you can have an opportunity to play, uh, you don't want to miss those. Uh, 